guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I am so excited because I'm participating in a collaboration hosted by C.M. Coleman. And in this collaboration, he's calling it the Zero Dollar Decorating Spring 2018 Challenge. So I'm so excited to participate in this challenge because A, it costs zero dollars. So, you know, who can beat that? And it really kind of helps to challenge your creativity to use things that you already have in your home. So after I saw um, his video and I thought, okay, I'm going to participate in that challenge. Um, then I started thinking about what area in my home would I be able to decorate with zero dollars. And then I thought of a space that has been fairly neglected. Um, that I haven't given much attention as it relates to decorating. And so I decided to give this space a try. And it is actually my upstairs guest bathroom. So as you can see here, this space is pretty bare, right? Um, I had Christmas decorations in here. And since Christmas is over, I took those decorations out and I haven't essentially been in here to decorate at all since. Um, I've only been in here to clean up and that's it. So today, we are going to decorate this space for zero dollars. So if you're interested in seeing the outcome, then keep watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've lowered the camera and I'm down on my knees here on the floor. And I decided to do this because when I was searching around my home for decor items, and I basically just found a lot of florals that I would add to this space. But I knew that I had some decor items up here already. And guys, I was so pleasantly surprised to find these items here. Now, you probably cannot see that. So let me see if I can pan in a bit. No, I don't want to mess with my adjusting. So I will just pull out the items. I have this towel rack that was already under the sink. So I'll pull that out. I also have this beautiful vase and if you guys can see it has a wicker bottom um, and it's already filled with you know some vase filler like pine cones and things like that so it looks like this was my fall decor that I had in here and so I put it under the sink when I decorated for Christmas and then I haven't taken it out since so I'll put that there and I will also mention that I used, oops, I used these beautiful hurricanes at Christmas time because my colors in here were like an ice blue and silver for Christmas. And so that's why these are still here because they're perfect for Christmas but also can be used at any time of the year. So that's why I didn't put them away but they've just been sitting here with the blank slate otherwise. So I'm going to leave these out to see if I will use them or not in this challenge. And let's see here. Here is the other vase with the wicker bottom. And as you can see, again, it's filled with vase filler already. And it's the matching pair to the larger one. So I'll put this here. And this is just a little cup that goes along with my, um, as you can see, the soap dispenser there. And there should be a soap dish somewhere too, but this is the cup that goes along with that. So I'm going to take that out. This is kind of heavy. I have this, this iron um, urn. It's an urn, like I guess urn vase, but it's also iron. It's very heavy. And so I have this under there. This was actually a thrift find that I found a few years ago. So I have that, and inside the urn was a candle, and this says it's walnut coffee cake. So yeah, this is definitely my fall decor. Mmm, smells yummy and delicious. So there's two candles under here. I may or may not use these candles, but we will see. So I think instead of sitting these candles out, I'm going to just put them just gonna sit those to the side and there is some spray glade air freshener spray in the amber bergamot scent 
which smells really nice for the fall also. Let's see what's over here. Just cleaning supplies are here. Nothing really in here except I do have my plug-in that I purchased from, actually I got this plug-in from Walmart. And isn't it super cute, this little butterfly? And so it's an Airwick plug-in. The Airwick is empty, so I'll take that out and trash it. But I think I'm going to leave this out because I might actually use this in my refresh. So I'll put this here. I'll put that in the trash. Now let's check this side. Now over here I have my towels that I thrifted um, a couple of videos ago and I'll link that video in the iCards above. It was a Burlington's haul where I um, purchased um, some more towels for my guest bathroom and they're in this beautiful kind of like teal color because that's the color scheme that I like having in here. So I have two bundles of towels which I'm going to just sit on this side for now. Oh, here's another piece to my bathroom set. As you can, isn't that beautiful, guys? It's a mercury glass, um, kind of like an amber golden color and mercury glass. It's really pretty. So I'm going to put this out on the countertop also. <coughs> my other set of towels. So I'll put those here. And these are towels from the fall that I use to decorate this space with. Um, as you guys can see, this has like foxes and owls and other things like that on it, but they have the teal color. So again, that's the colors that I like up here. Teal and this kind of rust orange, which I might use this. We'll see. I'll set this out. And I have for Christmas, you know, I did the teal and silver in Christmas, and so this says let it snow, um, but it's the teal color, and it's solid on the back side, so we might use that too. And a teal hand towel. And this is some, supposed to be in my toddler's bathroom. <laughs> um, this really fun geometric uh, multicolor print towel is actually the hand towels to a set that I have already in my toddler's bathroom. So I'm going to fold this and set this to the side so it can go back in the space where it belongs. And so the fall towels, I'll put them to the side as well. And I've got a lot of stuff under here, guys. Man, I have enough items here, I think, to decorate more than just this bathroom. So down here, I also have this Bath and Body Works hand lotion, which is at the beach. And that's the name of the fragrance, at the beach. And it smells really nice. I had it in here for the fall because of the colors. But it smells really pretty. Like it could certainly be a spring or a summer fragrance. So I'm going to set this back out. And it's really pretty. As you can see, it has a rose gold um, part of the labeling here. And the lid is also rose gold, so very pretty. So I will put this to the side. And also, this Let It Snow soap dispenser was up here from Christmas. But again, the back side is teal, so I'm going to sit it out just in case if we decide to use it. And last but not least under there was this beautiful candle from Bath & Body Works. And as you can see, it's in this beautiful teal color. And what you guys might not be able to see is that each of these little ridges, it has like a gold finish on it. So it looks kind of like teal and gold. And this is a three wick candle that I have not burned yet. And this fragrance is Blue Ocean Waves. And it smells really pretty. Oh, it smells really pretty. You guys know I like Bath and Body Works candles. I'm not like a huge fan like some people, but um, I think this one smells really nice. So I'm surprised I haven't burned it yet. So I will definitely put this to good use. Smells really pretty. So, okay guys, let's take inventory of all the items that we have. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have quite a bit of inventory. These are the items that I pulled from under the sink here in the bathroom, the towels, um, the remaining portions of my bathroom set to go along with that soap dispenser, 
I found this beautiful teal set, the soap dispenser and a candle along with this lotion from Bath and Body Works, this beautiful urn, and of course the hurricanes that were here from Christmas already. As you can see, there's a white towel there that was already here. I have paper napkins back there. And then I have, or actually those are paper towels. These are paper napkins here. I have towels on a really beautiful rack or towel holder. And I have these beautiful hurricanes with the wicker bottoms. And they're in two different sizes, already filled with vase filler. And I also found this air wick air freshener, which I need to clean that off. But I have a fragrance that I can add in there also. And what I brought up here was these florals because I will add a bit of spring up here. Um, but once I told you guys to not be right back, my toddler needed me. So I had to go downstairs for a minute and I decided to bring a few more items up here as if we did not have enough inventory as is. But I did bring this cute little tin that I purchased from the Dollar Tree um, for the florals. I brought a lantern just in case. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. Um, I did also bring this really cute little water can that I got from the 99 cent store. Isn't it adorable? So I thought this was going to be really cute as a planter perhaps for some of the florals if I did not use a little galvanized tin. Um, you guys know that I like white and so I always look for opportunities to incorporate white into my decor. And so I found this little owl. Um, he was on my husband's bookcase downstairs. Owls are for the fall, but he's white, and so I think that he might work fine in this space. And I brought this little gold um, pedestal um, to perhaps um, work as a perch for the candle that I'm likely going to use. Um, I brought some ribbon just in case for the florals. And I also brought this and this is a kind of tight space guys so i apologize but i also brought this picture that i did show you guys in a haul from tj maxx um a few weeks ago and it was regularly 29.99 and they had it marked down to where's that clearance price it was like two dollars or something uh where is it well, at any rate, I'm not finding that price, guys, sorry. But it was on clearance for $2. And so I took it, and I brought it up here because of the teal color. Um, you know, I think it might be a nice pop of color. The only picture I have in here right now is that one, and it's kind of muted. It's just brown and bronze colors, and so it doesn't really add much to the space. Whoopsies. <laughs> Breaking things in here. <laughs> Um, but as you can see here, it's it's just a simple picture, nothing exciting. So I think that I might incorporate this one in here just to add a pop of color. Alrighty guys, so this is our inventory. This is what we have to work with. So I have to make a decision as to what I'm going to use in this space. And then once I have a decision, we will get to work. So let me pan back a bit. Because as I mentioned, this is a fairly small space and I'm moving now into the water area which is you know where they have the shower and the toilet so this section out here is just your sink so as you can see I have all this decor items in here and we are going to put this bathroom together and make it look like something fabulous alrighty guys so I'll be right back okay guys so as a bonus I wanted to share with you guys the adjacent area to the bathroom that I just updated and as you can see this is the water closet or the area where they have the toilet and the tub shower combo and it's a small space also but I felt like since I was updating the sink area that I should not neglect this area so I've decided to do a little refresh here also again using zero dollars just home decor that I've already have. So this is the before and I will show you guys the after. Okay guys, and this is the after. Now as you can see, I didn't make too many changes. I just basically changed out the towels um, 
to coordinate with the same colors in the sink area. And I did update the orchid there by putting it in a tin little flower bin that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, as you can see that there. And I added some moss just to fill it in because the orchid was a little too small for that pot. But I think it turned out nicely. And um, I still have that same picture. I would have liked to have had a picture that was a little bit brighter, but considering I'm just using what I have already, that's exactly what I did. I didn't purchase anything. I just used what I have in my home as we speak. Now, granted, I do like this shower curtain, but I do see a replacement in its future. <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to update it with a white one or something very light for this summer, for the spring and summer, and then I'll bring it back in the fall and winter. Same with that picture. But I thought this was really cute update, and so I will be back to show you guys the final reveal of both spaces. Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is the final look, and I think it turned out very nicely. I used the majority of the items that were already under the bathroom sink and the other a few of the other items that I showed you guys. So I'll move in here a bit. As you can see, these um, hurricanes were already under the bathroom sink and so I just used them and so were those little mercury glass votive holders. And so I just set the votives inside Sorry guys, this is so, I'm moving around so much. But I sat the votives inside of the hurricanes and then put um, some Dollar Tree florals inside there and I think it turned out really cute. As you can see that there. I have um, the towels that I found under the sink. And I just added some burlap ribbon with that, you know, just to spruce it up a bit. And you can see the picture up there which I'll have to show you that from a different angle, but I think it turned out nicely. It's a really nice pop of color to the space. I also used a Dollar Tree planter as um, a tray for my hand soap and lotion and my paper towels for my guests, as you can see that there. So I think that turned out really cute. And on this side, I used the little white um, tin um watering can that I purchased from the 99 cent only store and I used it as a candle holder for that candle the Bath and Body Works candle that I found under the sink and I have my napkin excuse me my um towel holder there I just um added a teal color towel and I have another mercury glass uh votive there that I filled with flowers and I have everything sitting on a that's actually a picture um, like a farmhouse style picture, but I'm using it as a tray. And up above here, that picture that was there, I took it down and replaced it with this one, which is so cute with the little gold pineapples and the teal tops to it. It really works well in this space. So let me see if I can move in closer so you guys can see that. This was an item that I purchased from TJ Maxx. Um, it was on clearance for I think a dollar and 50 cents or something like that and I wasn't sure what I would do with it but I think it turned out nicely in this space and let's pan back a bit here so you guys can see how that looks and then I will pan over to this side so you guys can see get a closer look at that oh also I did add my little um uh, scent warmer here I couldn't get that brown off the top but Anyway, I thought the butterfly was still cute, and so I used it. I'm, maybe I'll the next time I'm in Walmart, I'll try to find another one. And here is a view from this side with the picture there. I thought it looked really nice. So I think the teal um, with the white looks really nice, and here is a bright, fresh look for the spring that will transition into the summer as well. And... Um, yeah, I did, and all of this, this entire look cost me zero dollars, which is the best point of all. <laughs> and then also, I showed you guys briefly how I also updated the space where the toilet and the shower is. 
And so I still have that matching picture there, but I just added some towels and a little bit of ribbon to update this space. And I think it turned out really cute also. And again, guys, this is no cost decorating. This, all of the items that I use to update these spaces are items that I already had in my home decor arsenal. <laughs> so I think it turned out really well. And I really appreciate CW for hosting this collaboration. And yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And um, go ahead and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I receive, whenever I post new videos. And also, go ahead and click the subscribe button and leave me some comments down below to let me know what you guys think. Now, I have to say, this has inspired me to look at other rooms in my home that I could probably update with zero dollars. Um, so I, I think that I'm going to be doing this again for other rooms in my home. Um, where I can just go through it and refresh it. It doesn't take a whole lot, um, but just a little bit goes a long way, especially in a smaller space like this bathroom. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support, and I will see you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.